think I see it. It's up there. Look at that old building. This is it then. Oh, look, a nun. Hi. Excuse me, do you speak English? Ah, okay. Danke. Yeah. Let's try and park up here. Selamat pagi. <laughs> Good morning guys, I'm back on the German Autobahn here in the south of Germany. I've left the hotel, checked out this morning and it's been so nice to just relax a little bit yesterday while I was finishing up the editing for my new video coming out tomorrow, the um, Leaving Indonesia video. So now it's time to get back on the road. Today I'm driving to a special place because I'm going to be sleeping at a monastery in a city called Bru, um, two hours south from here, close to the French border, and it looks amazing, and it's also super cheap. So uh, let's get to it, let's get back on the road. Oh, and I forgot to say, packing today, the motorcycle with the straps only took 20 minutes, so new record. It's getting better and better and more fun. Let's go. good to be back on the road because yesterday I didn't drive at all so now it's just perfect weather the sun is shining it looks like it's gonna be really good all day amazing I'm so happy to be here right now it's a bit more expensive than I expected this trip I think it's gonna be all in all a very expensive trip but I feel like this is a once in a lifetime kind of experience oh shit where am I going that way whoa almost missed my turn whoa and here we have downtown Frankfurt in front of me, all the skyscrapers. B E A U. There it is, downtown Frankfurt. And I'm super close to Frankfurt Airport. So we have a plane set landing right there. So actually, the first city I'm going to today it's called uh, Karlsruhe because there's supposed to be a really beautiful castle there that I want to see. And uh, yeah, it's one hour and 20 minutes away, 127 kilometers. Ah, oh, there it is. Frankfurt, the airport there. Uh, again, sounds Italian. today so now I want to make a quick stop and enjoy the Sun and get something to drink yes still got 46 kilometers left to go that's just the way it is digga doon 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 digga doon 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 Karlsruhe. Apparently it's a smaller city here, close to the French border, with only 300,000 300, people living here. But there's a very famous castle from the 18th century, Karlsruhe Palace, that I really want to see. I kind of wish I could just drive in shorts and flip-flops and a t-shirt, but it's a little bit difficult when I have to go on the highway so often and a little bit dangerous too. The 
This is a nice little city. And I see this small train that's running through the city. You can see here people are waiting at a small station. In Danish we call it a sporbom. I'm not sure what it's called in English, but it's just a very small train driving, pretty slow, but in the middle of the city. Karlsruhe. Wow, it's huge. I think this is it, guys. I am wondering if I can enter here. What does it say here? I have absolutely no idea. If the bicycle can, then I think I can so as well. Let's do it. Wow, check it out guys. I hope that no one cares. Perfect. Sometimes you just have to go with it. Wow. So beautiful here. So guys, I've just made a small stop here at the Karlsruhe Palace here in the middle of the city from the 18th century. It's so beautiful here so green people are just sitting here on the benches enjoying the view some are having a beer walking around with their kids in a stroller and so many people on bicycles it's, it's so cozy and the weather is just perfect but check it out it's so nice and these old white statues standing on the sides Pure white. It's really nice. Hello. Hello. Sorry. English. And when? Sorry. When do you ask other people if you put the camera in their face? Do you ask before? Oh well, yeah, of course. That was one weird lady. She asked. She said. Do you ask if you film people in the face? I said, yeah. I didn't even film her. What's a fox? All right, I think it's time to move on. Yep. And that's it, guys. A small stop like this where I have to film a bit with the Sony, film a bit with the drone, easily takes one, one and a half hour. So uh, now it is two o'clock. That means I can check in at the monastery in 25 minutes so it's time to get going let's go ah these are the small trains i was talking about that drives through the city perfect easy accessible transportation i'm hoping for the germans here that it's cheap as well because it is super smart Unfortunately guys, I think I just got my picture taken by a speed trap, but as I could see, I was driving 65 and the limit was like 60 and it took a picture of me from the front. So um, I'm not sure if it actually got me because if it's taking a picture from the front, it can't see my, my um, my license plate because it's on the back of the motorcycle only so fingers crossed i don't know how much a speeding ticket costs here in germany but i'm guessing it's not cheap oh there's all the trains all right guys 35 minutes left 47 kilometers let's go and stay at a monastery see how that looks like actually it was super cheap the pricing was only 500,000 rupiah. That's my cheapest stay yet. Oh, there's, I think there's another motorcycle there behind me. 
Yep. Let's go. Okay, once again, the Ducati is thirsty. So only 16 kilometers left till I'm at my destination for today. I decided that I was gonna stop a bit earlier today. So I have some time to show you guys the place that I'm gonna be staying. I have some time to pack out. Because if I just arrived at like seven, eight o'clock at night, unpack and then have to pack again in the morning, it's just, it's too stressful and I have too much gear. You have to remember that my camera gear takes up so much space and unpacking and packing takes a while as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be another 20 euros. So, guys, I'm just doing a small break here. Uh, the gas, I mean, and I've been looking at this snack, Beefy Roll, every time I stop at one of the gas stations. So I thought, okay, it's basically a sausage in bread. So I thought, I'll try it out. It's actually three euros. So it's really expensive. It's really expensive. It's really dry. It's really not that good. But you know, it's gonna get me going. Let's go to the monastery, yeah? All right, guys, I am almost in the city called Bull or Bull now. It's saying there Bull Tal Bull. And wow, I think I'm gonna get some really nice drone footage in this area. Wow, it's beautiful. Really beautiful here. Nice. A lot of good looking BMWs and Audis here in Germany. But they are also a lot cheaper than they are in Denmark. A lot. They're made here, so. There we go. Good. Oh, I think I see it. It's up there. Up on that hill. Almost here, guys. On the left. I'm so excited to see this place. It looked so nice on the pictures. Yep. In there, I'm guessing. Yep. Bill coming. Okay. I guess let's just try and drive around and see. I don't understand the signs. Look at that old building. Oh, it's beautiful here. Okay, parking. Does that mean parking? Uh, okay, I think this is it then. Oh, look, a nun. Hi. Excuse me, do you speak English? Do you speak English? Speak in English? Oh, there, parking? Reception? Ah, sorry. Reception? Ah, okay. Um, in in problem. Okay. Danke. Okay. So yeah, let's try and park up here. So guys, I actually just drove up here to the front door to the reception to see if I could. Uh, find out where my room was first before I took off all my luggage. And standing here in front of the big reception door, I can hear people inside um, singing songs. And it's so quiet here because it's all surrounded by fields. So the only thing I can hear is people singing and the wind in the leaves here on the trees. I have arrived to my room here in the monastery and it was very cheap it was 32 euros for one night but the room is not luxury either it's perfect I think it's great I'll just show you in a sec but it's very old it's very simple and in a second I'm gonna show you the place show you the room here and um, then I'm gonna go out and get some drone shots of this place because I think that's gonna be amazing but let me show you yeah, so this is it. Small bed. Small seat. 
sink. A little. A little closet here. Jesus on the wall. A little desk. And a chair. And that's basically it. Perfect. So I'm just gonna stay here for one night. I just thought it could be fun to sustain a monastery. I've already seen some of the sisters that are living here and they are so old they can barely walk. I think there's like 20 or 30 of them, um, but they're super sweet. So uh, let's go and check how this place looks like. Let's go. So you can clearly see that it's a very, very old building, but it still has elevators because of the old nuns. They, a lot of them have difficulty in walking. This is the garden. So I have a room up on the second floor. On the first floor is where all the sisters are staying. And here in the middle, we have this beautiful courtyard with a little pond in the middle. And it's just, it's so quiet. I can feel I'm dialing down my own voice just because it's almost loud when I'm speaking normally. Such a cool place. So right here I'm standing in front of the entrance to the reception. As soon as you pass here, there's a small little check-in counter where I checked into my room and it was nothing less than 32 euros for one night. And there is so the only place that you are not allowed to enter is right here in the chapel behind me where the sisters they go in to pray I kind of feel like I'm the only person here it's so quiet it's a bit spooky to be completely honest with you this was exactly what I needed a place where there's just completely quiet I think this has to be one of my absolute favorite things about doing this YouTube is that I get to be in a place like this call it work and be outside, be in the sun and just enjoy these views Alright guys, I think that's it for today I'm so tired and I'm gonna try for the first time since I've started this trip to get to bed at least before 10 o'clock. It is now 8 o'clock. Um, so, I'm having dinner now. A bun with ham and cheese that I made this morning at the hotel. Really warm and not so fresh anymore. But I'm just too tired to go to a restaurant. And I'm kind of tired of paying 20 plus euros for a evening meal. So I'm going to do it cheap today and then maybe head to Lidl, the German supermarket and get a couple of supplies for tomorrow. Yeah, I think that will be it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, yeah, so stay tuned because there's going to be a lot more vlogs here from Europe. Soon I'll be heading into France where the roads are going to be really beautiful. So I can't wait to explore that. But now I'm going to head to bed. Good night guys. Take care. Thank you for watching and until next time. Wow, that one is beautiful. And it is just so beautiful. Just you wait until I get the drone in the air. It's gonna be amazing.